Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share this video. Check out the notes section below. We're going to have some important links for you to check out. Um, I try to make a new video here every day, even when I'm in Harare, Zimbabwe, and that is where I am right now. More in, on that in a second. Thanks for the person who sent me the Bitcoin. I think it might be the same person who was doing the 666 thing because now he's doing a 0. .0015 thing that's happened twice in a row. Hey, do your thing, man, or if copycats are doing it, do your thing. It's 5.30 a.m. in the morning here in Zimbabwe. My sleep is totally messed up because of my flight from uh, Windhoek yesterday and just, it's just messed up. On the East Coast, it's 10.30 p.m. and it appears I mean, I'm not following it close because I was sleep I was just sleeping I just woke up um, and you know what in the end of the day who knows what's gonna happen but Trump seems to be doing better than people expected and um, the, at least what the mainstream media was conveying I know a lot of people think oh he was gonna win by a landslide but you know the mainstream media was saying Clinton's gonna win and then still she's the favorite at this second but he seems to be doing better the price of Bitcoin has jumped to seven hundred seventeen dollars um, and I'll just say this, I don't know who's going to win. Um, I have to do some more research into that. And, and just, I mean, I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm tired. Or maybe I'm going to go to breakfast. I don't know what's going to happen. Actually, I don't eat breakfast. They, they have a free breakfast here, so I might pick up like an apple or something. Anyway, and this Airbnb, by the way, I thought it was going to be a regular Airbnb. It's a hotel. We'll get into that later. So, <laughs> No, this is not real Bitcoin action yet in terms of volatility. Not yet. Um, it, it jumping up from 707 to 717. Hold your horses. But I do have some, there, there is some big news in Bitcoin. And this in India, and I, CryptoCoinsNews.com, I'll link to the article. They, they talked about this, but the mainstream media has brought up this India situation, not in relation to Bitcoin, but it's, it's news. In, in the last day or two, India says that their two biggest denominations in, in bills, in cash, people have to turn them in. They're illegal now. They're, they're not making them anymore. And these bills, they're not like they're $100 bills. They're, they're worth like 17 bucks or something in, in American money. So India is about to strictly limit the, the, the cash that people have. And this is something that's good for Bitcoin if the Indian people can get Bitcoin. Again, a billion people, over a billion people. This could be the biggest, if, when we look back on 2016, I'm not saying they're all going to go out and buy Bitcoin tomorrow, because they're not. But they have an issue there now, a really big issue. It's a really, and it's a really huge country. So we can look back on this one day and think, wow, th this was a turning point. This really might spark the Bitcoin thing in India. Um, maybe I'll have to go visit India. Now, I don't, I really am not a person who likes taking malaria pills and all those. You have to take a lot of pills to go to India. It's filthy. I'm sorry. I, there, it, it is filthy. Parts of it are incredibly filthy. And no offense to India. And I have never been there, but I do know parts are, are very filthy. But if you want to go there, hey, it looks like there's some real Bitcoin opportunity there. And they have a huge bureaucracy, and bureaucracy is filthy in its, its own way. Okay, Monero surged in, 20, in the last 24 hours. It got over six bucks. I think it's back under six bucks. Uh, it's not because Bitcoin is has been around 700. Monero is not back to 0.01 Bitcoin yet, which is very interesting for all you altcoin people who who enjoy altcoins more than Bitcoin. Because even though you got your six dollars back, you didn't get your 0.01 Bitcoin back yet. So sticking in Bitcoin was good. But as you know, I I believe that anonymous coins will last. Um, I did have a speculative uh, recommendation on Monero that I did very that I people would have done well on um, when it went from two to whatever eight dollars and then when it then I said it would go back to 0 0.01 and it did and then I said no more predictions by Adam on Monero and there are no more from Ad, Adam but I am still interested in Monero I know a lot of people are um, Diego my a great I mean he's just a great commenter on these videos. He brought up how there's uh, marijuana elections again. I don't even I didn't even know people were voting on that. I guess they vote on that every time now, um, <laughs> for the government to take over marijuana. Yes, very very good idea, uh, and to tax it. Great, great. Um, and I'm not going to get into that, 
But Potcoin was up some, so maybe he's got a point. Maybe speculators are just getting back into uh, Monero. Monero, again, is under $6 as we speak at 10.30 on the East Coast, 5.30 in, in the morning in Harare. Uh, and uh, maybe they're just speculators are getting back into it, and maybe the dark people in dark markets, maybe they're using it. I'm not on the dark markets. I don't know. That, that's what they're supposed to do. Anyway, quickly about Harare again um, and Zimbabwe. I have only walked around a little bit. I, it just got a different vibe than the, uh, South Africa and Namibia. Um, obviously, they're more unemployed people, but they, they, they want to work. And uh, buildings are falling apart a little bit more, but people try to maintain them. And people seem to be nicer here. So these are, I mean, I'm, real, I'm happy to be here. I'm very excited to be here. I, I see opportunity right away. And I see how Bitcoin could help people. I've also, I, I did go to the supermarket and their peanut butter is that they make here because they really should produce a lot more food than they do, but they, they do produce some peanut butter, which is delicious. Their avocados are delicious. They're also, the avocados in South Africa are also delicious, by the way. Um, they don't, the, both these type of avocados do not get imported to the United States for who knows what reasons. I don't know. Um, but, um, but anyway, people are selling food on the street. They're trying. They're trying anything. They're selling used shoes on the street. They're not. They're, they're not like beggars. It's not like in the United States where people aren't proactive. There are some proactive people here. I think you could teach them about Bitcoin. There, I mean, there's some smart. My cab driver was a very intelligent man. We we're talking history. Um, he knew a lot about the United States. He knew a lot about the election. I, I, I've been impressed with the small sample size so far. Hey, it could change. But again, Doug Casey said come to Zimbabwe. I mean, I can see why. And I'm only in a city. He probably wanted people to go to the backwoods of Zimbabwe, not the backwoods, the, the, the farming areas. Okay, enough about that. We're gonna, we're gonna get into that later. Um, Zimbabwe, people of Zimbabwe, you should be proud. Um, you're, you're trying your best. I can tell people are trying their best here. Uh, speaking of Z word, Z classic uh, has doubled in value since yesterday. Okay, calm down, calm down. It's not on CoinMarketCap.yet, yet, CoinMarketCap.com yet, which is like the almost official list of what's a real cryptocurrency and what's not. Um, but I, again, it is on that CSEX exchange, and that's where it's doubled in value. And on its Reddit, it, it seems more professional now. Um, there, there is a they have a Twitter, they have a web page, and I think part of the reason it might have doubled in value is that. Um, the Litecoin Lee, uh, what's his name? I always forget his name. I'm tired. Charlie Lee, he sent out a tweet talking about Z Classic. I hope I've been saying Z Classic is not Z and not Z Cash. Z Classic is the form of is a fork of Z Cash um, that doesn't have the founder's fee included in it. And he praised Z Classic, the founder of Litecoin, and that and, and I'll, I'll link to that tweet so that that might have helped them. Who knows? Um, so I'm gonna have to lean toward Z Classic being for real. Now, Zcash is doing worse every single day. So it's based off of Zcash, Z Classic. So I don't see how that's good in the long run from Z Classic for Z Classic. Because if people I don't know, maybe people will believe in Zcash, but everyone's been hyping up hyping up, up Zcash. It has to be, whatever the technology is behind it, the anonymous thing behind it, it has to really work and be desirable for Z Classic to work. Because the only thing different from Z Classic is there's just not this founder's fee, which is just this semi-shady thing. So I'm saying Z Classic, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, or maybe I'm 99% sure it is real it is not a scam i'm not saying buy it because it's only at csex and i don't know that exchange but it, i i wouldn't be surprised if it ends up on poloniex i wouldn't and it, it should end up on um coin market cap the, the 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 cryptocurrency listing site so if those guys are watching hey you, you should list it you have real scam coins on there so list a real real coin if it's a real coin Anyway, steam is going is going down again um, to where it was below, obviously be, before, because the market is probably getting flooded with steam because people are powering down and you can get more steam out of the steam power system. So the flooding isn't going to stop anytime soon. Um, so the price is going to go down and probably go back down to 10 cents again. But 
when, when the flooding stops, the flooding will stop eventually. People who want to get rid of their steam power will get rid of it. Um, and there's just going to be X amount of steam out there coming at a pretty continuous rate. So the market will have to judge, is, has steam improved? Is this, is this steam which powers this site, is it worth it? Is, is this, does this site have a future? And that's up to the people behind steam. So, you know, they're, 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 they're smart, I mean, they're smart people that are fans of steam and they're behind steam. And if they, everyone cares and everyone, under, everyone understands how this works, they're going to try to get things legitimate and better by the time the flow of steam out of steam power ends. And so, I mean, good luck to the people who care about this. I do know people care about it. And I think the platform could be improved. And if they if they do improve it, then great. And I, I encourage again the people in South Africa to take it over content wise and marketing wise. Th this is an opportunity. So hey, I'm Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister. We will know who's president is gonna be the next president probably within who knows when. Very soon. Very soon. Take care.